guys, welcome to La Georgia Papery. My name is Lindsay, and today I'm going to do a comparison of the EK Success Adhesive Remover Tool versus using just a regular white pearl eraser to get rid of adhesives. A lot of people have been using these on YouTube, and I actually had a request on how to use it. You actually just use it just like a regular eraser, but I'm going to show you what types of adhesives actually work best when using this. So I've got a piece of cardstock here, all ready to go. We're gonna do a comparison, like I said. So here on the, this top row, here and here, is some ATG tape. It's just the Scotch Acid Free. And then here and here is this EK Success Removable Adhesive Tape Runner. And then this little line right here is some Zig two-way glue pen. And I use the squeeze and roll and this one is dry. If you're not familiar with Zig two-way glue, what it is is if you adhere your pieces together while they're still wet, and the glue looks like that, kind of a light blue color, and you adhere them together, it's going to be a permanent bond. If you wait for it to dry, like I have done here, it's going to be a removable adhesive, much like this glue, uh, this tape runner right here. But it's in a little bit different form, so I thought I would try that out as well. I bought this at Meyer, which is kind of like a Target or a Walmart. They only have stores in a few states, but if you have a Meyer near you, I suggest you check out their scrapbooking section. A lot of times they have some really great stuff on clearance, including Cricut cartridges. So I've gotten quite a few there for some really good prices. And I bought this. Uh, in that scrapbooking section, and I only paid $1.99 for it. I believe I bought these at Michael's, or maybe even just the grocery store. I can't remember. But these are very inexpensive as well, and I got a two-pack, and I think they were a dollar or less for the two-pack. So this is a little bit more affordable, but for just $2, this really is going to be an invaluable tool for you, and it really isn't that much money, just a little bit more compared to a regular eraser. So let's get started and let's do our comparison. We're gonna start out by doing the white pearl eraser. And we're going to start out with the ATG tape. Let me try and zoom it a little bit. There we go, hopefully you guys can see that. And I'm just going to erase like I normally would with a pencil, the ATG tape that I've got here on the left side of the paper. Okay. Gotta go over quite a few times for it to lift off and then you get everything right there. So you got a big kind of goopy mess. All right, so it does work, it's completely clean. So now let's try the removable adhesive from EK Success. Get that in frame for you guys. And again, it's kind of taken a long time, having to go over the adhesive multiple times. And as you can see, I've kind of made a big old mess here on my paper, so I can just shoo that all off to the side, but it has taken up all of that adhesive. So now here is the little line of the Zig two-way glue, and I'm just gonna erase half of it, and I'll use the other half with the adhesive remover tool. I think I got it all, but again, there was some uh, some crumbs, I guess you could call it, some goopy stuff. And that little pit is kind of being stubborn, but I think I got it all. Okay, so kind of messy, but that one really wasn't too bad. Okay, so there's the big mess from the white pearl eraser when you're removing adhesive. So now let's switch and use the EK Success Adhesive Remover Tool. Now it comes uh, kind of in a pencil shape, as you can see, it's got the fine tip and then 
the broad tip, just kind of like the end of it. I use this a lot, unless I'm just trying to get rid of a real tiny bit, then I'll use this end, but for something like this, I would use the big, the big side. All right, let's see, okay. And we'll try to erase the ATG tape. And it's done. Quite a bit faster. It does have some goopy stuff that comes off with it, but that's just the adhesive all balled up, which is nice. No extra little crumbs that come off the eraser like you normally have to like brush away or whatever. Okay, so now let's try the removable adhesive from EK Success. All right, and again, it even came off with the, uh, with the eraser, the little goopy adhesive part. Stick that over there. And last but not least, let's finish up taking off this Zig Two Way glue pen. I think maybe some of that was from the other eraser, but I'm not 100% sure. But a big chunk of it did come off with the eraser. So there's that. So as you can see, the adhesive remover tool has very little mess. Just those little gooby bits that are the actual adhesive that you removed, whereas the white pearl eraser has all this stuff that comes with it that you're going to have to f discard. Now the Zig two-way glue pen, oops, let me get rid of that so it's not falling off everywhere. I can easily take it off from here. Let's see if I can't find it. Okay. So this is, this, there's some there, but then this is the actual line that I removed on the top. You can still kind of see it. It's not going to completely go away. And there, here is actually one that I did a little bit earlier. So it's not going to completely remove it. There's still going to be a line showing you kind of where you did it, but it at least will get rid of the stickiness. So in conclusion, I really do recommend this little tool if you haven't uh, picked one up yet. Like I said, I purchased mine at Meyer. I'm not sure where else these, they sell these. I'm not seeing them at Joann's or Michael's. Hobby Lobby might carry them, or I'm sure you could find them at a number of online retailers. So if you could pick one up, I paid $1.99 for mine, so it was a really good deal, and it's going to last you a long time. I've used this so many times, and I really have hardly made any kind of dent in it, so it's going to last forever, basically. <laughs> Unless you use it, you're not going to have to replace it. So there's that. If you haven't picked one up, like I said, I highly suggest you do, and I would also love it if you would check me out over at my blog, which is lawgeorgiapapery.com. And if you would subscribe here on YouTube, once I hit 150 subscribers, I will be doing a Cricut cartridge giveaway along with some other crafty goodies. So you're going to want to stay tuned for that. So once I hit 150 subscribers, I will do a video on the giveaway and you'll be have an opportunity to win some really great prizes. If you guys have any questions or comments regarding the adhesive remover tool from EK Success, I would love to hear it. Does it not work for you guys? What other adhesives have you used it with? These are the only three that I've used it with. I'm not sure how well it would work with uh, like this liquid glue from Scotch. I think if you needed to remove it, you would have to do it really quickly while it was still wet. I think once it's dried and set on your paper, this would not do you any good. Neither would this. But I haven't never, I've never tried it, so I'm not quite sure if that would work. Um, like I said, if you guys have had any other successes with this or if you even have something better that removes adhesive let me know about that too I would be interested in trying that out possibly after I get off my shopping ban whenever that's going to be I think as I put on my blog I'm officially I have to not shop for any crafty things through February 20th but I think I'm gonna be able to convince my husband that if I go through the end of April that he will get me the uh, the new Cricut Expression 2, which is coming out uh, April 23rd or something. Um, and that looks amazing. If you guys haven't checked it out, I think um, 
creativecritters.blogspot.com, cricket, crit, cricketcritters.blogspot.com, excuse me, I think that's what it is. Um, her name is Tammy. She's got a couple of videos and pictures up over there. So yeah, check that out. It looks awesome. And I've not even had my Cricut expression for that long, but this one looks so cool. And if I do the shopping ban thing, then I definitely will earn that machine. So anyways, I'm kind of rambling at this point, but if you have any opportunity, buy this. It is worth its weight in gold just about. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys later. Bye.